And this is what we are trying to explain to people that the services that people believe were for free are not for free and, and taxpayers pay those services. Hello, my name is Juna Runga with Reason TV and I'm here with uh, Richard Durana of the Institute of Economic and Social Studies in Slovakia. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Tell us a bit about your institute. I am with the Institute of Economic and Social Studies uh, that is based in Bratislava, Slovakia. This is our fifth year and what we do is we are uh, publishing the analysis and policy papers, we are organizing conferences and we run a couple of educational projects. Uh, our uh, basic uh, mission is to explain the principles of free markets. Uh, why is this important to tell to people who come from a previously communist regime? Uh, Slovakia did uh, quite few uh, successful economic reforms a couple of years ago and as a result we were uh, one of the fastest growing economies in the Euro European Union for a couple of years. For instance, two years ago we grew uh, over 10 percent. So uh, there were uh, like flat tax reform introduced, uh, we did a reform of the healthcare, also of the, of the pension schemes, and obviously we are a post-communist country, so there is uh, no tradition of thinking about the size of the government, and this is what we are trying to explain to people, that the services people believed were for free are not for free and, and taxpayers pay those services. And tell us about this program that uh, you're currently receiving the Templeton uh, Liberty Award for? The project is called The Prize of the State and it started as a single uh, website, internet website. Uh, you can see their uh, government revenues, you can see their uh, government expenditures. It is a uh, complete information on public finance in my country. And there are a few interactive features, like for instance, uh, eShop called Buy Your Own State, where you can click buy on your own Buy Your Own State. State. Yes, State. Mm -hmm. So that you can click on whatever uh, service provided by, by State you prefer. And when you submit your uh, shopping, uh, the size of your state appears. And also, uh, the information how much the taxes could be decreased if the sa if the state was was according to your preferences. If I hear you right, you have a website that has comprehensive data on the cost of every government service, and one can even break it down into what it costs each citizen. Exactly. And uh, under buy your own state, people can compare what the cost of buying certain services from the government is versus buying it from the from the private sector or how do they uh, express their preference this is actually the aim of our project to to tell people that the services are really expensive uh, because we are not trying to to use this uh, sort of dogmatic positions we are not uh, telling people government is big and we have to limit it because once you tell people the explicit uh, dogmatic position uh, they just uh, create or uh, erect the barrier uh, between you and them. So, and, and your, your uh, program, you've said you've uh, managed to get it into the education system. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, that was another step. Uh, we prepared the uh, teaching tools for teachers and we are, se we are uh, sending uh, these uh, a sort of set of, of materials to all high schools and to all universities around the country. And the response in general is very good. I mean, peop, uh, teachers are, are asking us to, to, to come to their schools and to deliver lectures, uh, in other words, to show them how to, how to uh, present all those information on public finance. So are you seeing your uh, kind of activity uh, being adopted by other countries? Yes, and we are very happy that uh, this uh, project is spreading like a virus. Uh, right now there is also the price of the state for the Czech Republic and also for the, for the Poland. So the people from these three countries, including Slovakia, can now compare how the individual governments are using and spending the money of the taxpayers and wh what are their preferences. So uh, this is the way how uh, we can create a sort of pressure on the uh, effective use of the money of, of, of the taxpayers. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Richard. For Reason TV, this is Juno Rungo.